Hello everyone. Today I'm going to... Oh, you can see me properly, don't you? Maybe I should change these interior lights before I do the video. Maybe you can help me. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel so that I can buy more bananas. So I'm going to change the interior lights of this 2021 4 TRD Pro. If you're a returning subscriber, you must be thinking, why am I doing another one of these interior light mods? Here's the reason. If you can remember, last videos I used 31 millimeter LED bulbs for the hood, but for this 2021 Forerunner TRD Pro, that is not going to work. So let me show you what I'm going to use this time. So I have two sets of bulbs. So these are 194 bulbs that goes on map lights, the doors, those uh, areas. And this is 28 millimeter SMD bulbs, LED bulbs that I'm going to use on the hood of this Forerunner 2021 Forerunner TRD Pro. So let's see if this going to do a good job just like the last videos all right let's get into so it so today i'm going to start with this hood light because this is the one wasted my time last time so here's how you can remove if you look closely there are two tabs right here between this plastic piece and the frame so this gray color frame and this plastic lens between that there is a small tab so i'm going to use this trim removal tool between that to pop these tabs so put the trim removal tool between that and gently pry that lens so you can carefully remove this lens and you have the stock bulb so press this tab outward and you can remove the bulb just like that so here's the stock bulb so let's change it with a new 28 millimeter bulbs so there you have the bulbs Take one of the bulbs, insert this carefully, so last time I bend it a little too much of this tab. And looks like it fits. Oh, that's bright. Nice. Let's put the cover back. I'm a little blinded now, looking at the bulb straight. Let's put the cover back. Make sure it's fully tight. Put these tabs to the rear side of the car, like this, and push it gently. You hear the click, so it should work just like that. So next, I'm going to remove these map lights of the Forerunner. I'm going to use the same pry tool, insert it between the lens and pry it just like that. Let me turn it off, otherwise it's gonna get hot and burn my fingers. So 
it's not easy to remove by hand let me use this pliers to remove it make sure you don't break the glass gently take the bulb like this I'm gonna take the new bulb this is a new bulb I'm going to insert it the same way I removed it push it firmly test it looks good now take the lens cover back you see this big tab that goes to the outside and the small tab goes inside so big tap goes outside, the small one goes inside, press it firmly. Yes, that's the white. That's the stock one. Let's do the exact same to the other side. Gently take the bulb like that. Take your new bulb, insert it the same way. Press it firmly, test it. Looks good. Again, the big tab outside, the small tab inside. Just like that. All right, next I'm going to do the bulbs on the door. So these are 194 bulbs. So to remove this plastic piece, notice there is a small arrow right at this corner. So use your pry tool near this arrow to remove this plastic. Just like that take this out so now you have this cover so push it outwards just like this so you expose the bulb so this bulb is gonna be really hot so I'm going to use a glove to remove it just like that now you take your 194 bulb insert it get the plastic cover put it inside these tabs On both sides and push it in put the bulb back in push it firmly there you have it so it's gonna be the exact same for the 
back doors, the rear door. Look for this arrow. That is where you need to put your pry tool. You remove the first cover and then you have this inner cover push it outwards just like that and then I'm going to use a glove again because this bulb is really hot Get my 194 bulb, insert it back. If it doesn't work, remove it, turn it 180 degrees and insert. See, now it works. So put the cover back. and insert the lens back in just like that all right then so next i'm going to install the 31 millimeter smd bulbs into the cargo area lights so let's install those and see how it goes okay so you can see i have the stock bulb in the cargo area I'm going to turn it off so that uh, my fingers doesn't get burned when I change the bulbs. So in this housing, we are going to remove this housing first and then we have to remove this lens. So there is two parts. So if you can see closely, here you have an indent. This is what tells you where you have to put your trim removal tool to remove the housing. And then you can see these four indents that shows where you have to remove the lens to access the bulb. So two steps on the other side. Also, it's the same. You can see the indent to remove the housing and then four indents to remove the lens. So let's get into it. Remove the housing, remove the lens and access the bulb all right so let's install the new led bulb so i'm going to use the trim removal tool on this intent there is a clip where we need to touch that clip push it back and pull the housing so use this indent to put the trim removal tool in and get the trim removal tool inside try to catch that clip right here so this is the clip you need to push in to get the housing out and now I'm going to remove the lens by removing these four tabs on the lens So you can use your fingernails to remove the lens cover. So two tabs done. Three, the last tab. Now you can remove the lens. Here you have the stock bulb. Remove the stock bulb. Get your new LED.
install the new LED they have the LED test it if it doesn't work remove it turn it 180 degrees plug it back get your lens cover install the four tabs install the tabs push in the wire harness side first and lastly the clips test it okay i'm going to follow the same steps i did for the other bulb so use the trim removal tool on the indent push that clip in so you can remove the housing and then remove those four tabs on the lens so you can remove the lens and access the bulb you can use your fingernails or try to use your trim removal tool but fingernails work so remove the lens So now you can see the top bulb. You can use that connector, push it outward, get the bulb. So this is the bulb. Get your new LED bulb. Follow the same way you insert it. You can push those pins a little bit and insert the bulb and test it. If it doesn't work, remove it, turn it 180 degrees. Now put the lens back in the same order. Use those four tabs to insert the lens. the lens set it properly and then install the housing okay now let's check how bright the new LEDs are yes you can see they are very bright than the stock bulbs we have so this is gonna help me a lot at night time to see the things in the cargo area all right so now you can see we have so much light inside you can even have your own concert inside the car. Alright, so you can see how much light we have right now. There's so much light on the ground with the 194 LEDs on the door. So that's the front and back door LEDs, 194 and on the hood we have the new 28 millimeter led bulb so they are not 31 millimeter led bulbs as i used on my previous videos so in the front i have again 194 t10 led bulbs they are so bright you can see how much of light I have in the car. So hope this video helps and thank you for watching. See you next time with another video.